Welcome to another episode of Dr. Fantastic Cooks. I don't know how this one's going to turn out because I'm not a baker, I'm a, I'm a chef. And the previous episode was making steak tartare and um, uh, ceviche. And I had a couple glasses of wine, two glasses of wine. I mean, what's two glasses of wine? And I'm feeling pretty good. So uh, we'll see what happens on this one. Okay, so the recipe calls for banana nut bread is banana nut bread is bananas and the ingredients. But I'm an adventurous soul, so I decided um, I'm going to put, where are the raisins at? What do they call these things here? Raisins. What do they call raisins here? This is jalapenos. Hold on a minute. Where are the raisins? Where did I put the freaking raisins? Damn, I hit some raisins here. Oh, here they are. Okay. Pasta. Okay, pasta. I like raisins. I like, um, so I decided to put raisins and um, pineapple. Because uh, pineapple is really delicious here. And this one here costs five Q, which is less than a dollar. So, because you're supposed to mash up the bananas, and very ripe ones look like this. The more ripe, the better, because they're sweeter. They don't look so hot, but they're great for banana bread. So you're gonna mush it up, so I, I diced up the um, pineapple very nice. Now, chefs always use their teeth. I'm gonna put in some pasas. Yeah, pastas. Yeah, throw some pastas in. Can't go wrong with a pasta. Okay? Okay. So now, here's the ingredients. One and a half, one and a third cups all-purpose flour. So, okay, let's put the flour in first. No, let's put the sugar in first. Calls for a half a cup of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. Mix it up. Okay. It calls for this one here. In particular, this particular one calls for um, raisin bran cereal. But I have oak cereal. I never eat um, oats, but I thought I'd buy some and try it out. Try to be healthy. I'll put that in there. Now, a one and a third cups of flour. I'm going to put a third cup because I'm a rebellious kind of guy. You know, <laughs> it's a precise science. Now, it also calls for sugar oh, or salt, a teaspoon and a half of salt, which I just spilled. So there's a teaspoon and a half of salt. <laughs> calls for an egg. Let's throw one of those eggs in there. No, no shells. No shells. Okay, so it's got the eggs, it's got the salt, it's got the sugar. What else is it called for here? Uh, vanilla. Okay, here's the interesting thing. Now, I looked for a vanilla extract. wasn't easy to find. I didn't find it. So I didn't get the extract, but I got vanilla flavoring. So it says for vanilla extract, one teaspoon. So I'm going to go for a tablespoon and a half of vanilla flavoring. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? I'm not going to use Tabasco because that was the earlier recipe. Now, mix this all up. Oh, looks interesting. And uh, I, I preheated the oven to 350 degrees, I think you're going to ask for. Oh, this one calls for walnuts, but you know, I'll put raisins instead. I got the cereal, I got the bananas. It calls for lemon juice. I don't know why it calls for lemon juice. I don't have lemon juice, so whatever. Well, it comes from uh, one quarter cup of butter or margarine melted. I did melt some some butter over here, and I think it's a I think it's a cup or a quarter of a cup. And again, I'm not a precise guy when it comes to baking, but I will I will bet any amount of money that this comes out fantastic. I might have to put some more flour in it because it looks pretty, pretty juicy here. Looking pretty juicy. I got the egg, you got the sugar, you got the salt, I got the bacon. I see. Okay, now tell me, is this not going to come a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda? I mean, I, I bought the baking powder. I think that's what I got, you know, because I don't speak Spanish. It's pretty close to it. But I mean, because I don't have a quarter of a 
a quarter of a teaspoon is going to make a difference? Are you kidding me? I mean, seriously? I don't know. It looks like uh, a nice mixture. <laughs> you're going to have to stay tuned because obviously you're not going to wait 45 minutes when this thing cooks. Let me just see how it tastes here. That tastes delicious without a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. What do you need a quarter, quarter of a teaspoon? You know how little that is? So, I'm going to pour this into the baking dishes I bought earlier. Where are they? Where are my baking dishes? I bought these today. Look at this. They call it a loaf pan. So, you're supposed to butter this up. Pour it in there, put it in there, bake it, and slice it, enjoy it, and so I'll, I'll, I'll show you how it comes out. I think it's going to come out pretty nice. It looks like a pretty good mixture. I mean, I mean, and it tastes good. It tastes good like it is. Maybe I won't bake it, just eat it like that. Anyway, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, be kind to Mother Earth. Cook as often as you can. There are no mistakes in life. Didn't come out. <laughs> really, are you going to stress over something not coming out well? Everything happens as it should, when it should. So, I, I am sure it's going to come out delicious. And stay tuned, because uh, when it's all done, I'm going to show you how it came out. And maybe it doesn't come out perfect, but I'll be, I, won't feel, I won't be feeling any pain, that's for damn sure. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'm crazy. You know, my wife said it was crazy to go around the world and try to make it a, a better place. And maybe I am, but I'm going to go with Steve Jobs on this one. Steve Jobs said people who are crazy enough to think that they can make a difference in the world are the ones that do. And I know I made a difference in a lot of lives around the world. And I'm happy for that. And uh, the word fantastic will change your life. They call me Dr. Fantastic because I have the prescription for a happier and longer life. Met a lady yesterday from a university, and she says she's going to give me an honorary doctorate degree. So then I will truly be a doctor, I guess. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Let's make the world a better place. If you're not one of our 8,631 ambassadors of kindness, Text me at 502-5531-8892 with your name, your city, and uh, you'll become an ambassador of kindness as long as you agree to be kind to yourself, others, and Mother Earth. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Let's make the world a better place. So there are the two puppies. I can't wait to find out if a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and a third less um, cup of flour is going to make the difference, but... We're going to see. We're going to see. Stay tuned. <laughs> so I don't know if you were paying attention during the, uh, during the previous uh, video or the first part of this, but I forgot to put in the soda, the baking soda and the baking powder. And maybe it didn't rise so much, but I just put some butter on it and it's hot and it's delicious. So it came out very fantastic. And there's the other one sitting on the stove. So... Uh, you know, I guess you can make some mistakes and things can come out well. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Sharing is caring, and caring is kindness. Be kind.